So look at this beautiful Clayton Undertype steam wagon model that was built by my dad uh, for me. Uh, it was always going to be mine. It's been typewritten with my initials and everything. And as a kid, uh, this was, a, you know, a great excitement. I thought I'd be going to school in it. You know, I didn't realise really what the scale thing was in those early days. But as a young man, we uh, blasted up and down the road on this a few times. There's a there's a sort of trailer that goes on the back and it was an absolute hoot. So uh, it does work. And um, that's the uh, undertype. So undertype wagons had their engines underneath and overtypes had them had them above. Foden focused on the overtypes and others like Clayton uh, produced the undertypes. And they were uh, a, a great thing that Britain had in the 20s. Uh, primarily, but but also some early designs before that, sort of just at the start of the century. Um, but 20s and 30s is known to be their sort of golden age, where some of them had pneumatic tyres and things like that. They were experimenting with all sorts of these things. But there were some quite draconian laws at the time around um, the amount of weight you could put on road to really to protect the rail industry. Um, so they did have some challenges. And then they started taxing, <laughs> taxing the coal quite a lot um, and putting road tax on and stuff. So they gradually fell out of favour and, uh, you know, legislation and everything else meant that uh, petrol just became more and more acceptable and economic. But apparently one of these things, you know, blasting down the road, it's sort of, you know, up to sort of 50, 60 miles an hour in some cases, but certainly 40 to 50, silently with a load on, absolutely incredible. Imagine seeing that in the 30s, you know, when you pulled up in your Riley or something and one of these came chuffing by. <laughs> That'd have been spectacular, wouldn't it? It's lovely to see them at the show, but... Uh, this is my uh, pride and joy, really, you know, uh, my own Clayton Undertype wagon. Uh, obviously, it's a family heirloom, but look at the detail that my dad made all these little things, a little jack, <laughs> all out of brass and metal, you know, all from scratch. The the, oh, the patience that goes into making these things is incredible. Look at the little bucket at the front, the little brass bucket. It's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> a little handle. Fantastic. And it was so efficient, that, that boiler, that... It did have a superheater on it, but with a bit of anthracite, it was boiling out the water so quickly that it kept blowing the safety valve. Um, so we actually disconnected the superheater. It was uh, we just didn't need to create that much steam, but uh, very efficient little thing. And say it pulled two people along one of these will. So uh, yeah, Clayton under tight wagon. Model engineering at its finest. Um, my dad's in his nineties now, but. Uh, he did a beautiful job of that and other things as well. My brother's got an enormous train he built. So uh, yeah, we, we're really lucky to have these beautiful heirlooms, but uh, yeah, it's quite a place in the house, but there you are. <laughs> this really is a Max machine. <laughs> it was made by a Mac. It's now uh, looked after by a Mac and hopefully will be for a long time to come as it goes through the generations anyway. Cheers for now.